Hello and happy Friday. Today is September 27th, 2019. If you can please have your math journals out and open up to a clean page, we are going to record a problem string. Today's problem string is called another over strategy. Please make sure you have the heading and the date. The first problem we're going to do today in this over strategy is called is called is 21 times 60. 21 times 60. So we're going to solve this problem and we're going to show this problem and represent it in two different ways. We're going to start by showing an array and the array is going to help us to visualize what it is that we're actually doing during the computation. So I will start with my array 21 times 60. Okay. Now off to the side over here on the right what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a numerical expression to kind of represent my thinking. But if I want to solve 21 times 60, I'm going to solve what I know first, 20 times 60, okay? And looking at 20 times 60, I know my basic facts here are 2 times 6, and 20 times 6, I know the answer to, and 20 times 6 tens, or 60, I know the answer to, so that's really simple. But I'm not at my answer. I need to add one group of 60 to be able to solve. And breaking this apart may seem like partial products, but I'm actually using what I know, which is under, and adding one group of 60 to help me get to my actual answer. Okay? And 20 times 60, I know, is 1,200. And 1 times 60 is 60. Okay? And then I'm going to add those two together. 1,260. Easy peasy. All right. Let's record our answer inside of here as well, inside of the array. All right. Hopefully you're all caught up with me. I'm not going too slow and hopefully I'm not going too fast. At any point in this recording, you are able to pause the video and rewind if necessary. I would really appreciate if you would not go ahead. I like for you to hear just in case I bring anything up that I would require you to do. Okay, next. The next problem I'm going to have you do is 21 times 59. Again, in problem strings, we always want to use the work that we previously solved or the work that we previously have to kind of help us. So I already know the answer to 21 times 60. Okay, so I'm going to take that array that I already used and I'm just going to duplicate it here. Okay, and instead of drawing just 60, I'm going to put a little bracket next to 60. And what, I, what I'm doing this for is because I don't need to know what 21 times 60 is. I need to know what 21 times 59 is. So I'm going to take a part of 60 away. Okay? So see what I've done here? I have 21 times 59 and 21 times 1. Okay? And instead of drawing a bunch of expressions inside of my arrays, I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to write a numerical expression off to the right. So to solve 21 times 59... I'm going to figure out what 21 times 60 is, which we already know. And then I'm going to subtract. What am I going to subtract? So I'm, I'm trying to get to 59. So I need to subtract one group of 21. Hopefully that's what you said. Okay? I'm going to subtract a group of 21. So going back, I know that 21 times 60 is 1,260. And I know that if I subtract a group of 21, I'm going to get 1,239. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and write that in here. All right, hopefully that was simple and it didn't take too much and it's not confusing. If it is and you're feeling a little lost, you can go ahead back and rewind or just stick with me and we're gonna go to the next problem. I'm gonna scroll up here. All right, the next problem we're gonna solve is 41 times 90. 41 times 90. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw an array. Okay, we have 41 times 90. 
Okay. Now there's a couple ways we can solve this. What I'd like to do is I'd like to imitate the original problem that we solved, the very first one, to kind of help with this, because writing numerical expressions is exactly what this unit is about. So in order to use these strategies effectively, it's helpful to be able to explain our thinking in both numerical sentences or expressions, as well as drawings. So let's go ahead and write 41 times 90. Okay, and we're going to solve it this way. It equals what can I use that's, that's simple to be able to break this apart? Can we go under like we did the first problem? We sure can, let's do it. 40 times 90, okay? And then I'm gonna add one group of 90. So that I have 41 times 90, okay? And I already know 40 times 90, because if I look at these two, I know that my basic facts here are 9 times 4, okay? 40 times 90 should be 3,600, okay? Plus 90 equals 3,690, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and write that in here. All right, so far so good? Let's do another one. All right. The next problem I'm going to give you is 41 times 89, okay? I'm going to give you a moment. At this time, you can pause the video. I'd like you to pause the video when you're completing your work, and I'd like you to solve. All right, if you look over here to the right, I started solving the problem. I drew an array to help solve originally, and I'm just showing my work. So I used 41 times 90, which was from the original problem that we just solved, or the previous problem, rather. And I knew that that was 3,690. And then I just subtracted one group of 41, because I don't want to know what one 41 times 90 is. I want to know what 41 times 89 is. 